What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Mamba. In today's video, we're going to be doing a reaction to the newest Witcher trailer that just dropped about a week ago for Netflix. It's something that I actually did an initial reaction to their official teaser trailer three months ago. And the only thing at the time I knew about it was that it was based on a video game, or at least what I thought. And a lot of you guys commented on that video and told me it was actually based on a very successful book series. Uh, I think this is about a total of about eight books. And they made it into a game that was also a very big success. And now they made it into a Netflix show. And I started digging into it. I had actually one, one person that commented and told me that the Audible was actually available on YouTube for free. So I checked it out. It did totally, uh, it totally got my interest. And I'm actually an Audible customer. So I ended up getting the book maybe about three weeks ago. And I've been listening to it every morning when I go to work and I'm hooked. I'm hooked, you guys. Like it's so phenomenal. I it's not something I would have thought I was into. I I am a book reader, but it's more just you know historical pieces. But this has a little bit of like the Game of Thrones meets Van Helsing meets like werewolves and like fantasy. It's just like so so complex. And I love supernatural stuff. So it really, really got me hooked on this. So I've been listening to it. I'm probably about halfway through the book. Maybe. The first book is called The Last Wish. Thank you guys. Thank all of you guys who commented on my video because I'm like obsessed now. So thank you. Um, so I'm listening to it. I'm getting prepared for the series dropping on December 20th. And I am loving it. It is phenomenal. The narrator on Audible. It's freaking ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to comment, I mean, leave in the, in the description down below the link that for those of you that are not Audible customers, so you guys can actually listen to it. The only thing is that you have to remember where you left off Audible. I don't have to worry about that, but it is so worth it so that we can all like listen to the book and then watch this and binge and then we'll do reviews because I'm freaking psyched. So I know a little bit. So that makes me more excited about this trailer. So Let's watch this with Henry Cavill, Mr. Superman himself. Oh, just sex on a stick is what he is. Let's watch this. I've heard tales of your kind, Witcher. Ooh. You're a mutant. Created by magic. Roaming the continent. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters for a price. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. <laughs> People call you a monster too. Why not kill them? Because they hate what they say. All of our choices draw our destinies closer. Yo, I really can't wait for December 20th. Like, this is a problem. Okay, so what I want to say is that now that I've kind of dug a little bit into the book, 
I saw a couple of scenes that I feel would, I, I kind of recognize some of the scenes, uh, especially with him in town and at the bar and they're saying, we don't want your kind here and all this stuff. Uh, a lot of that is very early on in the book. But I was worried about how Henry was going to kind of get the voice and get into that really dark character. Everything I've ever seen him in, at least up till now, has not been dark. And Gerald, um, can't even say that name, uh, Gerald uh, Rivia is extremely a dark character. And it looks like he's embodying it pretty well. We only got a little bit, little, little snippets of what he says. It's not as deep as like the narrator and Audible, but as far as his look, as far as how he's carrying himself, I feel like it's going to translate really, really good. And the monsters, the fight scenes, all of it looks like top quality. Netflix tends to really, really invest in their shows. And that's why they're like killing it. They're like killing it right now. And it looks really up to par. And being that they have the flexibility that they're not putting a whole book into two hours as a film, but they have an actual series and they can release a lot of actual shows. Like, well, they have a lot of episodes so they can really get into detail and stay really consistent with the book. I think this could be potentially really, really great and give me that fix that Game of Thrones could not fulfill. What a phenomenal show Game of Thrones was probably the best TV show, in my opinion, on television. Um, and unfortunately, they just fucked that all up with the last season. That was just garbage. So I'm hoping that this kind of gives me that fix of that medieval aspect and magic and fantasy. Like, oh, God, this has potential to be so great. Uh, I'm really really looking forward to this i'm totally gonna binge the whole day i'm gonna finish this in the whole day pretty sure it's between eight to 13 episodes maybe and i'm freaking psyched so what about you guys are you guys excited about the witcher are you the video game fan are you the book fan are you both which is your favorite book which is your favorite game comment that down below i'm just getting into this world and i am loving every second so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Besos, peace and chicken grease.